Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. That's nice. Nice to hear. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start the class taking the attendance, guys. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to your class. We're going to start taking the attendance, okay? Let me go there. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Ana del Carmen ya está ahí, ¿verdad? Ok. Ana del Carmen. And Astrid Present Tatiana. teacher. Okay, thank you. And Astrid Tatiana, is Astrid there? No, okay. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangán de Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Luis Roberto Mejía 
Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Uh, present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Carlos. 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 Very good. There we are. Okay, my dear students, how are you doing tonight? How are you doing? Perfect. Perfect. Oh, good. How are you doing, Carla Veronica? Perfect. Very good. How are you doing, Juan Carlos? Excellent. Okay, very good. So tonight we are going to start with the same topic that we uh, that we were studying yesterday. Let's remember that when we use the present continuous, um, we have several uses of these tense, and it's not complicated because we have just to notice the structure okay let's notice always take notice about the structure of the sentence let's remember uh, can you tell me what is the structure for the present continuous what goes first subject, subject. what else Close. Close. Bear. Plus what verb? Verb to be. Verb to be, correct. Uh huh. And then the main verb. Uh huh. But in what form? In what form? ING. Yes, as a gerund with the ING verb form, correct. Complement. Plus the complement, okay. And the complement, we could say any um, any description adding, okay, some more details about the action that we are describing uh, the beginning. And let's remember that we said that we use the present continuous for future events, but also we use the present continuous for things that we are doing right in the moment that we are speaking. For example, I'm speaking now and you are listening to me, right? So we are in the same moment and we say what we are doing right now. But also we could say, I'm having dinner after the class, okay? I can say that too, correct? I can use the present continuous for both, um, for both tenses, for the present, right now okay and for future but the future has to be something that it is planned that it's for sure that it is going to happen okay so now let me please uh, to share the the screen let me share the screen and let's see 
let's see, because uh, we need to know that. Oh, I was not placed. One second. I open in a different way. Not that. Okay. There we are. Okay. Sometimes when it says uh, show a part of the screen, it goes to the other side. <laughs> okay. Now. Let me see if there is. I think I can put you right here. Okay, guys. So let's see. The agenda for today is that we're going to do a little feedback, uh, doing some exercises and also having a game time. Then we are going to come back to the present continuous because we need to contrast. We need to make a contrast between the present simple and the present continuous. And also we're going to be talking about the future events. For example, what are some events that you have scheduled for this and the next week? And then we are going to write an email. Did you see the video? Hoy si vieron el video? Okay, there you are. It's important. It's important uh, for us to make the difference between the formal language and the informal language. Porque usualmente nosotros decimos, ah, yo me voy a meter a estudiar inglés porque quiero aprender a hablar, right? Pero tenemos cuatro habilidades que desarrollar, ¿verdad? Tenemos la habilidad de speaking, tenemos la habilidad de reading, tenemos la habilidad de writing, and listening, okay? Writing an email is very important because it's um, a mean of communication in these days. Okay, that's an actual topic. So now let's see, let's see guys. The objective for this class, what is the objective for this class? Let me remind you, what date is it today? What date is it today? Anybody? What date is it today? June 8, 2021. Very good. Thank you very much, Carla. Uh, who else wants to say the date? What date is it today? Let's say Edwin. What date is it today? What date? Is... Uh huh. Um... <clears throat> today is. Okay. 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 As specific object. Teacher. Okay, yes. Uh, participant what? will. Hello? Okay, what date is it today? What day is it today? Yes, what's ah. the date? What is the date for today? Day. Yes, the what date. date? Yes. June, uh, 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 June 8. Correct. Today is June eighth. June the eighth. Uh, uh, <laughs> of two thousand twenty-one. Okay, yeah. let's yeah. say it together then, guys. 
Today is June the 8th mm -hmm. of 2021. What date is it today, Juan Carlos? June 8th, 2021. Correct. Correct. Okay. What date is it today, Alejandra? June 8, 8, 8 uh, 20, Okay, 2021. That's if you decide to say the year into two ciphers, okay? The, uh, splitting it out, right? So thank you very much, guys. Today is June the 8th of 2021. What was the question? It was... What date is it today? Today is June the 8th of 2021. Okay, guys? Okay. Now let's see the objective. The objective for today, because yeah. in this, excuse me? Teacher, y se puede decir así que es tu tu Tuesday, Tuesday, a y todo lo demás. Yes, of course, of course, you can say it with the day. For example, we could say today is Tuesday, right? Today is Tuesday, June the eighth of two thousand twenty-one. Yes, you can say that. And it is correct. Thank you. Correct. Okay. Okay, guys, we are starting. We are studying the future to describe future work events and ongoing activities at your workplace. Okay. We are going to learn also in this unit how to ask and provide information, right? with some questions uh, that will be later in the next class maybe. So what are we going to see in this class, today's class? Can you read the objective for this class, Wendy, please? Parti <laughs> particip particip participants will be able to contrast present continuous and present simple. Correct, very good. So we're going to uh, recall about the present simple and we are going to learn some more details about the present continuous, how to use it. Now let's see and let's remember the first use. The first use we said yesterday. Can you read the first line, Alejandra, please? Alejandra, can you hear me? the chart. Okay, please read this. We use present continuous to take about uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Arrangement. Uh, arrangement for event at a time later, later, later than than now. Okay. So it means what is uh, it means that we're talking about the future when it says at a time later than now it means future. Okay. Now let's see the structure. What is the structure of the present continuous? Everybody please activate your audio and let's say the structure. Subject mm -hmm. master, master. Be, 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 be
Okay, very good. So now let's see some, let's see some verbs, okay? I'm going to write one verb and you are going to tell me what is the present continuous or the ing form of that verb, only the ing verb form, okay? So if I write this, what is the present, I mean the gerund? Helping. Okay, very good. Uh huh. Now I'm going to write another. Having. Okay. Having. Excellent. Having. Now let's say this. Mm -hmm. Calling. Calling. Correct. Calling. Now let's say another verb. Let's see. Um, Work. Excuse me? Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Working. Okay. Now I'm going to write another verb and it's a very common verb, but it has Check. a different spelling. Mm -hmm. Check teacher. Oh, thank Check. you. Check. Uh -huh. What is the ING verb form for check? check? Checking. checking. Okay. Now, what is the ING verb form of get? Getting. Okay. Can you please spell that verb for me, please? G E C T I N G. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you see? We double letter T for some verbs. For example, if they have only one syllable and they end in the letter T, then we can, we have to double the consonant. We have to double the consonant. That's when we are writing, okay? That's when we are writing. So get with a double T, getting. Now let's see, for example, this verb, have. It ends in a letter E. Do you see? Do you see? It ends in a letter E. Termina en una letra E, ¿verdad? Y aquí, ¿cómo lo escribimos? We drop letter E and just add ING. Correct? Now let's see this other verb. Can you help me with this one? A teacher, uh, mm -hmm. and maybe a uh, um, follow. Excuse me. Follow. Follow. Okay. Very good. Uh huh. What is the um? Following. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, making. Okay, very good. The word that's in in e. Just we change. Correct, correct. When we spell it, we drop letter e, and we just add ing, and it will be yeah. making making. If you see, we don't have letter E in the ING verb form. Okay, it disappeared. Okay, it disappeared. So now let's see about this other. Swing. Excuse me? Swing. Swim. Uh -huh. Okay, what happened here? What happened in this one? Can you tell me? Swimming. Uh-huh. We have to double the consonant, right? Yeah. We have to double the consonant. M, M. M, M. Okay. And then we add I-N-G. Why? Because it has only one syllable and it ends in a consonant. Okay. Then we double the consonant. So it is swim, swimming. Swim, swimming. Now let's see um, these other verbs. Win. Shoddy. Excuse me? Uh, 
Estoy tratando Shop de escuchar. Ajá. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo me dijo? ¿Cómo me dijo? Shop. Shop like. C-H-O-P. Or S. Like this. Correct. Okay, then. Shop. We have to make that sound right. very soft. Okay. Cuando decimos chop, ese verbo existe y significa cuando picamos los alimentos. You are chopping or, when, or you chopped something. Es corta, pero así como el, el hachazo, ¿verdad? Chop. That's chop. Como picar. Chop. Y shop con un, un suave sonido. Shop es ir a comprar, ¿verdad? O comprar. ¿Verdad? Ok. Let's Peter. see. Uh -huh. Ajá. Chilules sí. and the ends, uh, consonant uh -huh. is dobl doubling. Yes, Math correct. Plus, plus ing. Correct. There you are. So now let me explain about, okay, this is one syllable and it ends with a consonant. So we have to Shopping. double. Shopping. Okay. Double. Yes. Thank we double the consonant. Now let's Running. see with this. Running. 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 Yes, correct. What about Running. the studying? Study. What about studying? Yeah. What is the Chang. spelling? Chang. Chang. Do we change it? Chang or I? Knocking, knocking the door. Okay, here it doesn't change. In the ing verb form, right. we just add the right. like this, the ing. We oh. don't change anything here. Okay, we keep y at the end okay we keep the y at the end they, so let's see this other okay lie lie of uh saying something that it is not true is that what you say right oh yeah right right no you no lie uh when that's when you're saying true. something that it is not Live. it's not true okay let's yeah. see like this. Uh-huh. Okay. So tell me the spelling about that. We drop. Uh-huh. Uh, live. Uh, like? Mm -hmm. Live. Live. No, because uh, this is another verb. This is another verb. Uh-huh. L-Y-I-N-G. Okay. Do you see here it changed completely, right? Yeah. It changed completely like a die too. like die yeah correct like die like die okay now let me finish with try first okay is the same as the verb study if you see it ends with the letter y so we say right. trying okay trying now right. let's see lie right. uh-huh right. so uh Maria Elena, can you spell it please with the letter Y? Mm -hmm. L Y I N G. Okay, L Y I N G. Okay, that's lying, lying, saying lying. something that it is not true. So now let's mm -hmm. see another. Uh, you say the other one, die. Die. Aha, okay, die. Mm -hmm. D-Y-I-N-G. Like this. No. D. Y I N G. Okay, yeah, but the verb is die, die. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. D-Y. I-N-G. I-N-G. Okay. Dying. Dying. You see? Dying. But this is also uh, very confusing, dying, because dying uh, get confused with uh, the other verb when you change the color of your hair, right? Do you remember that? Dye mm. my hair. I dye my hair. It means that I change the color, right? Mm. 
So these are some cases. These are some cases about the spelling of the verbs when they um, become gerunds, okay? When they are transformed into gerunds. Gerunds means that is the verb form that takes ing at the end, okay? It takes ing at the end. Let me. El presente continuo tiene muchos usos, como les decía al principio, okay? Right now, we are saying things, or we are just studying two uses, two uses. What are the uses? Things that happen right now and things that are going to happen in the future. But it means that for sure they are going to happen, okay? So let me, let me uh, go to the next activity. Okay, this is all just for reviewing, but you are going to see some things like kind of different, kind of different. Porque van a encontrar que también los gerundios se usan eh, convirtiendo la palabra en un nombre, ok, o convirtiendo la palabra, sí, en un nombre. Así sería exactamente el asunto. Ahorita en este curso, en este nivel, no lo vamos a ver hasta ahí. Ok, no lo vamos a ver ahí, solo vamos a ver estos dos usos. Para que no se me confundan cuando estén leyendo algo ustedes en la red, en un libro, donde usted, o que escuchen a alguien diciendo ING, pero no lleva el to be verb, entonces ustedes digan, bueno, eso no es, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí es, les digo que sí es, pero para que lo entiendan cuando lo escuchen, pero no quiere decir que es el presente continuo, ¿ok? El presente continuo está formado por el verbo to be con la forma del verbo ing, ¿correcto? ¿Correcto hasta ahí? Or do you have any question? No questions? Ok, then, we are going to an activity. Haha, <laughs> game time, game time. So I will send this. Um, I will send this link through the chat, okay? And let me see. Les voy a enviar este, este link ahorita aquí en el chat para que ustedes vayan a ese sitio. Yes, memory game. Memory game. Ok. Ok, there you have it. No, no, in the chat. Here, in this chat. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Of Thank course. you. Ok, no problem. Here it is. Okay, there you are. What is the idea there? What is the idea in the memory game? En un juego de memoria, ¿ya han jugado juegos de memoria? No. No? Que hay una carta. Voltean la otra carta y tienen que hacer match. Entonces tienen que acordarse en dónde estaba, ¿ok? You have to remember where the card that matches is. So, in one card, you have the sentence. And the other card, you have the picture, ¿ok? Cuando finalicen, me dicen el tiempo que se llevaron, ¿ok?
I finished. Did you finish? Did you like it? Yes. <laughs> What's funny? And what was your time? Mm -hmm. One minute with 48 seconds. Oh my God. That's a record. Very good, Karina. Thank you. Nice. I, I think you are a gamer, huh? <laughs> I do it in the university. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh huh. Finished it. Okay, good. Tell me, what time did you get? What was your time? A minute. How long? Two minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, two minutes. And how many rounds? ¿Cuántas vueltas hizo? Sixty. Sixty, okay. Now, do you think you can try it again? It's, and uh, I'm sorry, and improve your time and improve your, excuse me? ¿Cómo es el resultado? ¿Has encontrado toda la coincidencia en 2.40 y, y 44 vueltas? Ok, yeah, that's, that's your result, yes. Vale, okay. ahora prueben a, ver, prueben a ver si pueden mejorar ese tiempo. Ah, uh, try again. Yes, try again if you can improve that time. Thank <laughs> Finish. Okay, good. And what was your time? Your score? Four. Uh huh. Four, five. No, four. Six, four, five, three. Okay. Finish. Okay. And how many? How many rounds? Cuántas vueltas? Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, you may try, you may try during your free time. Ustedes pueden probar también en su tiempo libre para ir mejorando ese, esa habilidad, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, carta okay. volteada dice 64 and time uh -huh. 2 and 45. Ok, good, good. Those are good times. Uh, Podemos volver a jugar. Yes, I think so, because there are some classmates uh, of your classmates that 
uh, didn't finish yet. Okay. Yes, to improve, to improve. How are you doing, Vladimir? Hello, teacher. How was your game? Yeah. Did you finish? Uh, finish. Okay, and what was the time you get? Uh, what is the time that you get? Uh, two minutes. Uh-huh. Um, around... Uh, quiero ver 57. 57, okay. 57. Okay, 57 seconds. Okay, good. ¿Y cuántas vueltas? How many rounds? Oh, no, no, este, 57 vueltas. Ah, 57 uh -huh. rounds. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's see the pictures here. Do you send it? Uh -huh. Son tips para identificar el, el presente continuo. Para identificarlo, lo, lo más y que no falla es, si va con el verbo to be, acompañado, ¿verdad? Del verbo to be. Y um, para diferenciar, si está hablando de ahorita o del futuro, acuérdense de las time expressions. Time expressions. ¿Ok? Si la time... Eh, es, uh -huh. Algo que estamos haciendo... Y algo que se está haciendo en el momento no podría ser un indicativo o algo que no sea como poder diferenciar el presente simple con el presente continuo. Ok, el presente simple, acuérdese que solo es decir el pronombre y el verbo en la forma infinitiva, ¿verdad? Es y generalizado. Lo... Exacto, entonces lo conjugamos nada o sea, más me, me cuando refería, es tercera persona. Me refería tal vez a la acción, no se Ajá. puede identificar por, por ahí más o menos. Porque en vez de estar viendo la fotografía de buscar el to be, eh, el IND en en the sense, sentence, uh -huh. no es más no complicado. Uh, creo que no, no capto entonces, eh, porque al, el tip más sencillo es que usted vea que cuando sí. alguien está hablando y le dice, yo estoy cocinando, I am cooking, ok, I am working. Ah, ok. Ese es presente I, continuo. A eso me refería, es, es, es speaking, no, no washing is right, o sea, speaking un tips. Okay, speaking, let's okay. remember that they are going to use the to be verb. They are going to use the to be verb with the ing verb form together. So that's present continuous. And maybe he's doing the thing at the same time that he's talking, or maybe he's, uh, do, uh, he's uh, doing the action in a future, in the near future, okay? You get it? Okay. Everybody yeah. finished? How was the game, guys? Now I'm going to, I'm going to say to say one verb and you are going to give me the sentence, okay? Shine. Shine. According to the game. De acuerdo al juego. The sun shining. The, the sun is shining. Excellent. I thought you said the suns. Okay, the suns no, the is sun. correct if you add like the apostrophe and S like a contraction. So it is okay. You say okay. the sun's shining. It's good. It's good. Okay. okay. And it's also good if you say the sun is 
shining. shining. Okay, very good. So now let's see, uh, painting, painting. Yes, painting. Uh-huh, according to the game, Uh huh. Painting. Let's make a sentence with that verb. Pintar. Yes, of course, it is to paint. Yeah, but painting in the game, it shows like painting. So, inventemos una oración. Raquel is painting. Oh, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Raquel is painting. Good. Now I'm going to say another verb. I'm going to say another verb. Uh, take a picture. Take a picture. This is an action. Take a picture. I take a picture with my camera. Okay, that's present simple. Do you see? I take a, uh, a picture. I take a picture. It's present simple. Now let's think about um if we see carlos for example what okay. is carlos doing he said he, he, he is, is everybody taking taking a picture, a picture, taking a picture. Oh. okay yes do you see the present simple was i take a picture with my camera now the present the present continuous will be uh-huh. I am I, taking a picture with my camera. I am. Okay. You. you get it? You get it? Okay. Okay, let's go to our manuals. Let's go to our manuals. We are in page 31. Page 31, 31, 31. We have a conversation there. It's between Ryan and Raul. So we are gonna say this conversation, we are gonna practice it. And uh, then we are going to do a little pair work, okay? Let me share the screen for you, for you to get it. There we are. So here is the conversation, Brian and Raul. So good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Brian. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Oh, yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work? to your workplace. What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters, okay? Now, take 30 seconds to read it. Everybody reading. Everybody reading the conversation.
Okay, guys. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in that conversation? Pick. Mm -hmm. Pick. Pick up. Pick up. Okay. Mm -hmm. My first activity is to pick up the letters. To get. Okay. Recoger. To get. Mm -hmm. Go for the letters. Any other question about the vocabulary? Uh, getting uh, in Raúl teacher. Mm -hmm. Yet it is they are. Is the palabra getting? Getting, getting ready. Getting ready. It means they are. Um, mm, Esta es una es, es un verbo que va junto. Get ready. Get ready. Pero como estamos okay. usando un gerundio, se dice Perfect getting continue. ready. Entonces, alistándose, ¿ok? Alistándose. Las dos palabras juntas. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is the present continuous. They are getting ready. Getting ready. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You are Okay, no more questions? Now, we want to hear Giovanni and Nancy, okay? We want to hear Giovanni and Nancy. Giovanni Ryan and Nancy Raul. Okay, okay teacher. Uh, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting getting uh, getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get? To your workplace what the first thing you do i usually arrive at 6 30 i am and the first time i do is to check my email and you well i read at 7 or 7 30 in the pants on traffic my first activity is to pick up the letter. Okay, thank you very much, Giovanni and Nancy. Now, do you see, guys, that we are using two tenses, okay? Estamos usando dos tiempos de los verbos. Acá ya estamos combinando. Miren, ya vamos más adelante. So, congratulations, guys. Ahora ya podemos combinar, combinar. El presente continuo con el presente simple. When do we use, when do we use the present simple? And when do we use the present continuous? Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, guys. Good example. Okay, give me an example. Well, I am planning, planning a video uh -huh. conference. What tense is the present, that? Present continuous. Correct. Why? How do we in identify that? Verb, verb to be uh -huh. and, and ing and the verb. Very good. 
correct. So that's the present continuous. And can you give me an example here of the present simple? Fran plays tennis every day. Oh, thank you. That's a good, that's a good example. That's that, a good example. Now let's see here in the conversation. Oh. I, me again? <laughs> uh huh. Okay, no problem, I, Carlos. Go ahead. I I usually arrive at six thirty a.m. Correct. I usually arrive. I usually arrive at six thirty a.m. Arrive. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right, okay. Now let's go and do the pair work here. It says pair work, but we're gonna do it um, together, all together, okay? And let's see, let's discuss. Let's discuss these following questions. Who gets earlier at the workplace? Who gets earlier at the workplace? Earlier Paul. means? Más temprano, okay, earlier, earlier. Who gets earlier at the workplace? Raul. Mm -hmm. Raul arrives at 6.30 a.m. Uh-huh. And the first thing he does to check his emails. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see the time you said at 6.30 a.m., right? 6.30 a.m. And it says usually, almost always, right? Almost always. So I think uh, Raul has the habit, okay? Tiene el hábito, right? Or maybe is his um, schedule is his schedule to start work, okay? To start work. So now let's see number two. Number two, who wants to read this other question? Let's see, can you please read the second question, uh, Ana Cristina? Please read the second question. What is the topic Raul and his team are discuss, discussing in the conference? Okay, so what do you think, guys? What is the topic? What is the topic? What is the topic Raul and his team are uh, having in the conference, are discussing in the conference? The activities. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. What do you think? About their schedules. Okay, good. About their schedules. It will be a very good topic to discuss. That's a good thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe that's the real one because that's the question that he asks to the to his colleague, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, about the schedules. That's a good point. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Um, about the bitcoins. <laughs> yeah, about the bitcoins. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh -huh. How to collect, right? How to collect, how to um, make business. Okay. So now let's see then how to use the present simple and the present continuous. Okay. We are going to do this activity. We are splitting into the breakout rooms, okay? And you, with your classmate, are going 
to understand when do we use the simple present and when do we use the present continuous, okay? And then when we come back to the main room, you are going to give us a presentation, like giving us an explanation, okay? So let me take the attendance and then we are going to split into the breakout rooms, okay? ¿Sí se comprendió la actividad? No, teacher, repeat, please. Okay, you have to read those guidelines in the, in the manual, okay? And you are going to understand what does it say? The topic is that we are making the difference between the use of the present simple and the use of the present continuous. And then when we come back to the main room, cuando regresemos al, al, aquí a la sala principal, entonces ustedes van a explicarnos, ¿ok? Vamos a, a tirar la moneda para rifar a ver a quién le va a tocar. Eh, exponernos cuándo usar el presente simple y cuándo y cómo se usa el presente continuo, ¿ok? A ver, voy a tomar la asistencia primero. I'm going to take the attendance. Let me go there. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ok, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. And Vladimir Santos, uh, perdón, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Excuse me. Yes. Ok, yes. Karina. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Uh, but he was in, right? Uh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, here we are. And we are going to... Okay. Entendido lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Si tienen preguntas, díganme ahorita, chicos, de lo que vamos a hacer. Ustedes van a leer su manual, ¿ok? Ahí en la página 32, ¿ok? Página 32, page 32. En la parte donde dice how to use simple present versus present continuous, ¿ok?
Alejandra, are you there? Alejandra, did you receive the invitation? Eh, no, no la pude aceptar. Estaba viendo lo, lo de la página en el manual y ya no la logré entrar. Ok. Sí. Yo creo que le ha quedado detrás de donde usted estaba viendo. Ya cerró lo que estaba viendo, ya lo bajó. ¿Está ahí? ¿La encontró la invitación? No. Ok, la voy a mover, pero será dos veces, ok. Va a ser dos veces. A la primera no le dé. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, now. Pongo. We, will you yeah. present continue? You, you, uh -huh. we, uh, we use present continuous for ongoing action at the time on speaking. Going. Uh, y luego, luego podemos explicar la, la estructura de, de, del presente simple y la estructura del... El, con, el presente continuo. Present continuo. Okay, continue guys. You are doing a good job. Okay, I'm going to another okay. room. Thank you, teacher. Correcto. Pues no sé si es que las tenemos que anotar y ponerle poner la diferencia. Hello Vladimir, hello Ana. Hello teacher. <laughs> How are you doing? Teacher. <laughs> you have to read. You have to read in page 32 and you have to understand the difference, when do we use or how do we use the present simple and how to use the present continuous, okay? Yeah. So when we go back to the meeting, then you are going to explain, okay? You are going to, the, to explain the uses, okay? Van a leerlo ahorita, lo entienden, sí. los dos usos. Y luego allá nos van a ir a explicar ustedes, ¿ok? Ah, ok, solo eh, es de leerlo. Ajá. Comprender cuál es el presente simple y el presente continuo. Exactly. Yo veo que está, o sea, así, eh, ay, que no sé cómo formular. Uh, intente y dígamelo así como, como le sale. Um, uh, a read in the cooperation. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para exponerlo. Así se diga. Ok, to explain it or to uh, expose it. Expose it. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Es correct? Yes, it is correct. Good. Mm -hmm. Ok. 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 More Vladimir, <laughs> what about you? Did you get it? <laughs> uh, Understand? Okay, read it. Read it together and discuss it. Okay. I'm going to another room. Now you have to read page 32. Ahí lo envié en el WhatsApp, chicos. Sí, 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 teacher, ahí lo estoy viendo. Okay. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que vamos a leer y lo vamos a sí, comprender vamos a... y luego lo vamos a exponer. Exactly. O sea, que entendemos, que entienden cuál es el presente continuo y cuál es el presente simple. Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. How to use okay. present simple 
and how to use the present continuous in English, okay? okay? In English. English. <laughs> okay, there you are, there you are. You. See okay. you there, see you in the main room, okay? <laughs> work, work. Don't worry. Don't worry, you are doing a good job, so continue, guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, you can say we use simple present to talk about things that we do all the time or things that don't change. Maybe. Hello, girls. Hello, teacher. How are you doing with the activity? Um, I think good. Good, okay. Uh, then I'm going to leave the room and I'm going to another group, okay? okay. If you have questions, tell me, please. Call me. Okay. The secretary in making a phone call. A phone call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. How is the activity going? Fine. Fine, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, the secretary is making. Making es como hacer, vea, haciendo, vea, teacher. Uh -huh. In Entonces, the moment or? Uh -huh. the, the secretary. La secretaria está haciendo una llamada. Yes, una but llamada. let's try not to, let's try not to translate, okay? Ajá. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, que no lo traduzcamos. Yes, please do not. Es que si yo no entiendo. Es que, mira, uh -huh. me cuesta el simple and present y el present continuum, continuum. Para qué? How to use it? O cómo usarlo, right? How to use it? When do we use that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Are you ready now? Yeah. yeah. And what about the simple present? Can you explain about the, the simple present? Um. Sí, sí, saben explicar el presente simple? Cuando queremos decir las actividades que nosotros hacemos diarias. Ok, say that in English. Mm, um, activities um, today. Ok, activities that we do every day. Ok. Uh, Uh -huh. Activities that we do every day. That we do every day. Yeah, correct. General information. General information. information. Uh -huh. okay. Routine activities. Yes. Every day. Excellent. Daily routine. 
Yeah, daily routines. Good. Okay, so I think you're ready. Uh, and also, uh, do you have some examples? No. There you have some examples in the in the box. Okay, in the manual, ahí en donde, donde están leyendo, okay. hay unos ejemplos, right? There are some examples. You're right. You can use those. I check, I check my emails every morning. Every okay. morning. Mm -hmm. He writes report about meeting. Okay, good. Good, okay. good, good. Okay, girls. Then we are going to go back to the main room now. I see you ready. So I think everybody's ready. Hi, teacher. Se salió la chica. Is he muting? Thing, you. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Sometimes when we yeah, change from, uh -huh. oh yeah, but no problem because right now everybody is returning to the main room, okay. Uh, but who, who was working with you? Carlos Eduardo? ¿Quién estaba trabajando con usted? Sí. Okay, I think something happened. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. are, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. We're ready and we know what we're going to do. Okay, <laughs> we're ready. There you are. <laughs> Good. That so funny. Good. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. So, Giovanni and your classmates, please. Start. Giovanni and your classmates. Hey guys, you, you may ask questions too, okay? También le pueden hacer preguntas al que expone, okay? Veamos. <laughs> Let's see. Sí, para tener claros los conceptos. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and everybody is, no, 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 no. <laughs> the difference, the difference, uh, the, the different, the simple present and simple, uh, no, the difference and the present simple and present continuous is, uh, the present simple is used to describe the uh, habit or, or routines. Okay. For example, uh, breakfast at 8 a.m. every day, or I have breakfast at 8 in the morning every day. And the present continuous the pre uh, is used to describe um, what uh, Uh, describe ¿Cómo sería como, así como decir las cosas que están pasando ahorita? Ah, ok. Things that are happening right now. Describe that happening right now. Yes. Uh, for example, I am eating breakfast. Oh, I having breakfast. Okay. Thank you very much, Giovanni. And who was your classmate? Con quien trabajó? Kevin. Okay, Kevin. What can you say about that? Um, yeah, simple present. Uh, you see to the script. Stable. Habitual activities, uh -huh. um, daily routines. Uh -huh. uh, I'm present continuous. 
uh, our action action that happening happening as we speak. Okay, good, good. And also for the future future events, right? So, but in this box is okay. Thank you very much, Kevin. Now let's see, Nancy, with your classmate. Con su compañera, vamos a ver. Okay, Start. when is your father? <laughs> Oh. In the question, uh, a ella o coma? No, you were going to oh. tell us, explaining us, ustedes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we use it simple present is um, general information for that. Is routine today mm -hmm. and present continue. For action, the time of speech is paid. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, when you are example. speaking. Uh -huh. Okay, give us some examples, <laughs> Wendy. Very good. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I sleep um, tonight. And present present simple 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 simply simple simple mm -hmm. and simple yes el present continuo el I am in sleeping um, right now. Okay, but are you sleeping? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, esa es una frase que quizás nunca la diremos, ¿verdad? Yo estoy durmiendo ahorita, o sea, si estoy durmiendo, I can't speak. <laughs> o sea, es un chiste. This is just a joke, okay? Haciendo un pequeño chiste. Let's see. Thank you very much, Wendy. You did a good presentation with your classmate, Nancy. So now let's see. Uh, Maria Elena, please explain us how to use the present simple and how to use the present continuous. Okay, um, we use the present simple to tell about habitual action and the present continuous to describe or oh, when we talk about action that are taking places at the moment. Okay, and who, them, who was your classmate? Um, Jonathan. Jonathan, okay, we want yeah. to hear Jonathan too. Thank you, Maria Elena. What's the question, teacher? No question, Sorry. you have to explain. Okay, uh, we say the, we use, sorry, we use the present simple or simple present uh, to describe activities, uh, daily activities. For example, I, I, I eat the breakfast in the morning. Okay. And, and we use the present continuous for describe um, actions, specific, specific actions. For example, um, it's, on, it's, it's something. Um, an example. Give us an example. Um, it's it's something more specific. Mm -hmm. um, for, for like Maria, help him. Okay. Uh, the present continue. <laughs> what happened? Why are you laughing? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, um, is when we talk about action that are taking at the moment. Okay. And the present simple is a uh, routine. Okay. Like, I ask studying English every day. And today I study, 
I studying I studying English from eight to ten. Okay. I have a question. Tell me. And I want to know is true or false. Okay. Uh, we don't use. Is the... it for everybody or is it for me? Uh, for you and Jonathan. Ah. Oh, okay. Tell me. <laughs> uh, we don't use the present continuum with the following verse. Like, no, one, hey, understand, and remember. That's okay. true? Okay. No, that's false because it's not present continuous. That's no. gerunds. That's uh -huh. gerunds. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que yo les decía al principio de la clase. Hay tres o y más usos de los ing verb form. Pero después de esos verbos se convierte en un nombre, ok, ya no uh -huh. es un verbo, ok, it is not a verb, por eso no es considerado en el presente simple, for example, when you say, I like studying, I was going to say, but I didn't want to get, yeah, get confused. No, but in the present continuum, uh, my, ok, no, no se pueden usar esos verbos. Lie, know, one, hate, understand, and remember. And present continue. Uh, usually, why, why do you say that? Uh, I remember when I studied <laughs> in high school. Oh, okay. Uh, es que, vaya, yo creo que la confusión tal vez está, porque no es que no puedes usar esos verbos, okay? Eh, sino que, cuando el verbo ing va después de esos verbos, no es presente continuo, ¿ok? No es presente yeah, continuo. Eso se llama nada más usted, yeah. gerundio, ¿ok? Uh -huh. yeah. Ok. Ok, porque si sí puedes uh -huh. decir understanding, ¿ok? okay. Si sí puedes decir remembering, ¿ok? Si sí puede usar el ing. Uh, tal vez la confusión está en el uso, o sea, son tres usos. En este caso, um, after the verb like, help, y otro montón de verbos, son como 80 verbos, no solo esos que usted dice, sino uh -huh. son como un, es una gran lista, pero esos ya no, ya no es presente simple. That's not, uh, perdón, ya no es presente continuo. Eso ya son gerunds. And it's a good point. Ese es un buen punto porque era lo que yo les decía cuando Carlos preguntó. Carlos dijo, eh, ¿cómo puedo identificar, dice, el presente eh, continuo? Siempre fíjense, ¿será presente continuo siempre y cuando lleve el verbo to be a la par? Ahí ah. es presente continuo. De lo contrario, es un gerundio. ¿Ok? De lo contrario, es un gerundio. Ahora, me preguntaba él, y para efectos de esta clase, ¿cómo diferenciamos cuando estamos hablando de las cosas en este momento, utilizando el presente continuo, y cómo diferenciamos las cosas a futuro? ¿Ok? Bien, vamos y les voy a mostrar en, el, en, en los slides. ¿Ok? Déjenme llegar ahí. Es muy bueno su punto, este, María Elena. Lo único que en ese ya no es eh, esta forma de, o esta conjugación, ¿ok? Ya en ese caso estamos hablando de otra conjugación. Sí se miran las slides. Yeah. Okay. Va. Vamos a ir al, al que teníamos ayer. Al que teníamos ayer. We completed these sentences yesterday with the to be verb and the ing verb form, okay? This is present continuous, okay? This is present continuous. When are we going to know, uh, or how are we going to know if it's present continuous, using for the, uh, I mean, used for the future or for the, or for things that are happening right now? So in this case, for example, 
I am having English classes tomorrow at 8 p.m. Of course, of course. Maybe you were talking uh, today after the class, then you can use that one. And you are talking about the future. What, what if I don't say tomorrow here? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I add this. Okay. I am having an English class. I am having an English class. So what is that? Things that are happening in the moment that I am speaking. Okay. Things that are happening in the moment that I am speaking. So this is present continuous. Okay. This is present continuous and the very moment that we are talking. So what is the way to make the difference? Ah, with the time expressions, with the time expressions. For example, here I could say an English class right now, okay? Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference, guys? Or do you have a question? Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, um, Okay, Se yeah. Murió oh. Oh. She said it died. Oh, I, I thought someone. Oh my God, don't scare us like that. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, then let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Let's continue and let's go to this. Okay. Para que veamos entonces. Cuando es presente continuo en el momento que hablamos o en el momento que estamos haciendo esa acción. Okay. For example, this question. What are these people doing? What are these people doing? For example, we're going to say, what is Bob doing? What is Bob doing? Everybody, what is Bob doing? What is Bob doing? Let's say the question, everybody. What okay. is Bob doing? Si preguntáramos de Matt, ¿cómo preguntáramos? What is Matt doing? Okay. What is Matt doing? What is Matt doing? Okay. So I'm going to ask the first question. What is Bob doing? What is Bob doing? Can you tell me what is Bob doing at this very moment? Bob walking. He's walking. Okay, esa actividad se llama walk the dog. Okay, walk the dog. Entonces, en presente, en presente continuo diríamos, uh, Bob is walking, walking the dog. Walking okay. the dog. Yes, Bob is walking the dog. Ahí no necesitamos decir with the dog. Solo decimos walking the dog. Now, let's ask another question. What is Matt doing? What is Matt doing? He's Matt taking a shower. Take a shower. Taking a shower. Uh-huh. Matt is taking a shower. Are you sure that he's taking a shower or is he taking a bath? Is he taking a bath? Taking a bath. Okay, yeah, because taking a shower is like this, right? Yes. And taking a bath is in el huacal, right? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so, Matt is taking a bath. Now let's think about these other person, th these other people. Mm -hmm. Exactamente, sí está la regla. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, es una regla de ortografía, por decir así. Se llama spelling. Spelling se llama esta materia. Que le dice las reglas de cómo escribir correctamente, ¿verdad? Sin error. Vamos a ver. Now, let's think, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? They are having, they are having a dinner. dinner. Okay, good. 
they are having they are having dinner they are having dinner okay good now let's think about this teacher okay the teacher that you were seeing in the in this box okay he's teaching uh-huh he's teaching english okay very good what is she doing ah then she he is teaching okay she's teaching she's teaching what you said english yes okay thank you so she's teaching english so these are the things that are happening in the at the time that we are speaking so let's see for example in this case what will be the question if i want to ask about him what will be the king, question king what is what is king his what is uh -huh. so, what is Kim doing? That's the question. What is, is Kim King, doing? Kim is swimming. Swimming. Okay. Swim. Kim is swimming. Let's remember M M I N G. You see? Pastel. Swimming. Now let's think about Laura. 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 Uh huh. She can listen to music. Can hear music. Laura is listening. Listening music. Listening music. Listening music. Okay, Laura. Laura. Is listening to music. Okay. Music. Siempre que usemos este verbo, listen. It goes with two. Okay. Listening to music. Okay, now there we are. So Laura, I'm sorry, Laura is listening to music. So these are things or activities that are happening at the time that we are talking or at the time that we are speaking. So we use the present continuous. Now let's go and see. Again, uh, just let me erase this. Let me erase. This. Okay, this is what you read. This is what you read. And it says that we use simple present for general information or routine activities. Let's see the examples. I check my email every morning. Now, can you read number two, everybody, please? Everybody. He Okay, number four. Okay, so when do we use the present continuous? Ah, we use the present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Let's see the first example. It says number one. Uh huh. Everybody, please read it. I am, I am playing, playing a video conference. Number two. Y balancear los medios para los lados. En nuestros manuales tenemos. Y tenemos que completar estas sentencias. Y dice: Complete las sentencias en presente continuo. Y vamos a leer. Número uno. Number one, Thomas, 
Let's see the example. Let's see the example. It's breaking the contract. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Here we are. There you are. Okay, everybody. Number one, the example. Thomas. Thomas is printing. Is printing. Is printing the contract. Thomas is printing the contract. Now let's see number two. Cheryl is meeting with the boss right now. Meeting with the boss right now. Correct. Number three. He's taking care. Taking care. He is taking care <laughs> of everything. Of okay. everything. Very good. Number four. I am paying attention paying to the instruction. Okay, good. Number five. She's preparing, She's preparing the briefing. Briefing. The briefing or a presentation, right? The briefing. Mm -hmm. Number six. They are sending the product to the warehouse. To the warehouse. Okay. They uh, are sending the product to the warehouse. Okay, good. We're going to do that activity tomorrow and just uh, let me show you that tomorrow we are going to continue with this. Okay, we're going to continue with this and also we are going to learn how to make questions. So now let's go and see how do we send an email? How do we send an email? Well, actually we know how to send emails. What do we want to know is how to write, how to write an email. A ver, vieron el video, ¿verdad? What is, okay, what is the first thing that we have to take care of when we write an email? Uh-huh. ¿A quién se lo vamos a dirigir, verdad? Eso es lo primero que tenemos que considerar. Bro. Ajá, ¿a quién se lo vamos a dirigir? Imagínese, no es lo mismo que le mande usted un email a su jefe o al jefe de su jefe, ¿verdad? Como que se lo mande a su colega o a su compañero de trabajo de la par, ¿verdad? O a algún amigo, ¿ok? They are totally different languages. So let's see. Let's see an example. We have an example. Let me get there. Y quiero que tomen nota ustedes. Okay. De cómo escribirlo en inglés usando usando el presente simple y el presente continuo y lo que ya hemos aprendido, los imperativos y eh, lenguaje que ya, ya conocimos en este módulo, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Ajá. This email is going to C. Maldonado at Travers.com.sv. Okay. And it's going to JC Palacios at Travers.com.sv. A ver, ¿conocen quiénes son? Son compañeros de su equipo. Okay. ¿Alguien tiene estas, estas, estos usuarios? Ajá. What is the subject? What is the subject? New staff member. 
new staff members. So here we're, we are having an introduction of a new member of the team, okay? So let's read it. And it says, in order to have the best performance of our team, ah, vemos que hay una frase muy importante acá. In order to, esta es una muy buena frase para comenzar los emails, okay? In order to, como decir, um, uh, por la razón o para hacer tal cosa, ¿verdad? In order to have the best performance of our team, let's welcome Mr. Carlos Maldonado. Mr. Maldonado is starting today as a customer support representative. He is providing technical support and assistance to our users and making sure they enjoy the best experience with our products as soon as he finishes his training. Let me remind you all that every representative has to call clients every morning and reply emails in the afternoon. Don't forget to send a report to your floor manager. Best regards, Mrs. Wendy Nunez, customer support manager at Travers, that, I'm sorry, at Travers Inc. You see. Falta alguna cosa en este, en este email? Date. The date. Okay. The yeah, salutation. Aha, uh -huh. that's the part that is missing. So in this case, what do you think it could be a, uh, a good salutation? Va dirigido a dos personas, okay? Y ellos son miembros de, bueno, digamos que hay más aquí, ¿verdad? Porque es un equipo al que le está mandando es a muchas personas, no solamente a una. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo podríamos hacer el saludo? The salutation. ¿Cuál es la palabra que usamos para decir estimado? Dear. 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 Ajá. Dear. Ajá. Dear. Colegas. Oh, good. Dear <laughs> colleagues. And comma, right? Um, we could, well, in the formal, in the formal emails, we add this, right? The column. So we say, dear colleagues. Uh -huh. So let's remember, let's remember always that when we send an email, we use salutation. We use phrases to introduce our first paragraph. Let's remember the subject. The subject is very important. We have to summarize. Summarize. Tenemos que resumir en el subject lo que vamos a decir. Okay. Y al final, la despedida. Ajá. ¿Cómo es la despedida en uno formal? We use. Esta, esta frase, best regard. Best, best regard. regards. Podríamos usar solo regards y sería muy buena despedida. Podríamos usar regards. Ok. Yours sincerely también es otra despedida muy buena. Y luego pues identificamos quién está firmando, ¿verdad? Quién está firmando. Now, let's see Jonathan. ¿Alguna vez ha mandado algún email en inglés? No, teacher. No? Never. Never. Ok. Now, let's see. Uh, Ana del Carmen, ¿alguna vez ha mandado algún email en inglés? No, teacher. No. Only okay. Spanish. Only Spanish. Ok. Pero vamos a ver. ¿Todos han recibido acá algún... Email en inglés? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, no. Yes. Alejandra says no. Okay. Let's see. Let's never reply. Okay. 
This is the activity that you are going to do. Si ustedes gustan, pueden tomar la captura, ¿verdad? Y lo que van a hacer es que me van a enviar un email, ¿ok? Me van a enviar un email. Y les voy a ponerla en el chat. Ustedes me van a enviar un email. Let me get here. Teacher, no puede compartir usted la, la, en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿El qué? La captura, porque el, no puedo tomar captura en el teléfono. Que no ah, ok. Ok, ok. Good. Por, Ahorita va. Right now. Ok, ahí va. Ahora, les voy a compartir en el chat la dirección a la que lo van a enviar, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Vamos a utilizar el mayor vocabulario que tengan, que, que ya hayamos aprendido en esta unidad. Podemos hacer un email organizando las actividades de nuestro equipo, ¿ok? Organizando las actividades de nuestro equipo. Eso sería el el email que me van a enviar. Ahorita en el chat les pongo la dirección. To tomorrow. Yes, because we have only four minutes right now. Yeah. Okay. ¿Saben qué? Voy a cambiar la actividad a pasarla a la plataforma. Ok. En la plataforma, en lugar de hacer envío de email, ustedes van a, 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 a redactarlo como que fuera una cartita, ¿verdad? Lo que harían en el email. Este, voy a abrir yo un post de discusión. Creo que así sería más fácil para ustedes. Um, ¿Ok? Para que en su tiempo libre lo, lo estén haciendo y me estén preguntando si tienen alguna duda. ¿Ok? Creo que sería lo mejor y la, y la parte más... más Uh, fácil, ya llevamos como cuatro días de querer hacer la actividad y no hemos podido porque no nos queda el tiempo por cubrir todos los otros temas ok creo que así lo voy a cambiar ok, lo van a recibir en la de discusión que sería en la de la clase próxima mientras ustedes estén revisando, verdad, y haciendo y me pueden estar preguntando, ok now let me Check. Let me check this list. Today is the eighth. So is Alejandra's turn, okay? Alejandra, is your turn today to stay in the 101 session. Are you staying? Yes. Okay, then let's see. Let me take the attendance and then we leave. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present. Ok. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangán de Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. 
María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Present. Ivette Tobar Rivera. Present, teacher. One moment. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Okay, Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, so we accomplished with the objective for today. It was to contrast the present simple with the present continuous. So now we know when do we use, I mean, when to use the present simple with the daily routines and when to use the present continuous with the things that are happening at the time that we are talking, okay? So let's see. Are we okay or do you have any question about the topics from today or from the last classes? Are we okay? Yes, yes teacher yeah. or no teacher, yeah. I have a question. Yes, teacher. Okay, then <laughs> let's meet us tomorrow and have a good night everyone, okay? Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, My teacher. pleasure. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Omar se ha quedado conectado. Omar. Okay, there you are. So, hello, Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Tell me. Dígame. Um... Bueno, creería, teacher, que lo que me cuesta es, es como el vocabulary en como escribir, eh, escribirlo no tanto, pero sí, sí al escucharlo, casi no, <ríe> casi no entiendo nada. Eh, al al como, como decirlo, Tampoco, quizás las tareas logro realizarlas porque al leerlas sí las entiendo y las palabras que no las, no las entiendo ya las busco y ya, ya logro armar toda la, todo lo que dice. Pero ya al, al hablarlas sí no, no logro okay. entender casi nada. Sí, comprendo. En Ajá. ese caso, el mejor tip que yo le puedo dar es que ubique eh, o que use, digamos, la técnica del skimming. Ok, skimming sí. significa descremar, o sea, significa agarrar solo lo que necesito entender en ese momento. Ok, porque sí. usted va a escuchar un mundo, ¿verdad? Pero yo necesito entender lo que me están enseñando en este momento, por lo menos mientras estamos dentro de la clase, porque afuera usted va a necesitar eh, utilizar lo que aprendió en la clase, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces... Ubíquese en la, um, en la estructura que estamos viendo. Por ejemplo, el presente simple, eh, que fue la primera unidad, ¿verdad? El presente simple lo que requiere es que usted sepa conjugar el verbo, pero el verbo en realidad en inglés no se conjuga como en español, ¿verdad? Que en español tenemos una forma para cada, para cada persona, sí. para cada pronombre. En inglés solamente cambia en cuando hablamos de él, 
o ella o eso, ¿verdad? He, she, it. Entonces, he, she, it. lo principal es que usted se ubique en entender. ¿Estamos hablando de presente simple? Ok, entonces, todo lo que la teacher diga, vamos a, a tratar de ubicarlo a presente simple, ¿verdad? Las instrucciones, por eso yo les pregunto cada vez, eh, ¿entendieron? Ahí pregúnteme todo lo que usted necesite saber. Pero eh, en el, en el uh, curso pasado les enseñaron cómo formular preguntas, ¿verdad? Les sí. enseñaron cómo formular las preguntas con la WH, con las palabras WH, que son what, when, why. Entonces, tiene que volver a estudiar esa estructura para que usted pueda ubicarse en las preguntas, ¿verdad? Y así me puede decir, teacher, what do you say? Teacher, I don't understand. Uh, what is that? Son preguntas básicas que usted me puede decir al momento de que usted tenga una duda. Ahora, volviendo al módulo 2. En el módulo 2 estamos viendo el presente simple. Presente simple es aprender, aprender a decir las cosas que se hacen diariamente o que se hacen en nuestro lugar de trabajo día con día o como un hábito. O cosas que no cambian. ¿verdad? Eso no cambia. Por ejemplo, eh, eh, ¿qué hace el árbol? ¿verdad? ¿Qué hace el árbol? El árbol está ahí. Eso no cambia. Entonces, um, son facts. Son hechos que siempre van a estar ahí. Por ejemplo, el mar es azul. ¿Verdad? Entonces decimos no nosotros cambia. que el mar es azul. No cambia. Son cosas así. Entonces nosotros usamos el presente simple para eso. O, por ejemplo, el mar hace olas, ¿verdad? También es presente simple porque es, siempre va a hacer olas el mar. Entonces, si usted se fija y se ubica en el uso, lo que la veo yo un poco nerviosa y ansiosa, eso, porque yo, yo entiendo que, que usted siente, ay, no, no, no le cacho, no veo, ¿verdad? pero para poder identificar cada estructura, debo tenerla clara. Ok, entonces vamos a ver acá, solo para ubicar un poquito. Cuando usted va al listening, déjeme ir ahí. Cuando usted va, usted está escuchando algo, debe identificar las estructuras que estamos viendo en ese momento. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? I eat. Breakfast, eso era lo que veíamos ahora. ¿verdad? I eat breakfast every morning. Ok. Eso si usted lo escucha, ya lo identifica, ¿verdad? Si yo le dijera I eat breakfast every morning y usted no lo está leyendo, usted lo entiende. ¿Verdad? Yes, sí. Porque conoce el vocabulario, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿qué es? Uh, dígame algún ejemplo de presente simple, alguna actividad que usted hace a diario. Eh, ¿Alguna actividad diaria? Uh -huh. eh, uh, pero una fácil, I take, I shower. Ok. The morning. Ok. Entonces, si vemos acá los elementos que necesitamos conocer, sería un verbo, que es una acción, ¿verdad? Con el complemento de la acción. Y luego, una time expression. ¿Sí? Ok. Pero necesitamos saber quién realiza la acción, ¿verdad? Si es I, no cambia yeah. it, ¿verdad? Si es you, no cambia it. Entonces, esas cosas son las que tenemos que tener al momento de identificar cuando estamos escuchando a alguien hablar. Las cosas que ya aprendí, ¿ok? Las cosas que ya aprendí. Lo demás, lo demás... 
no lo va a entender en el momento. Incluso hay, hay cosas, por ejemplo, si a mí me pusieran ahorita a escuchar acerca de términos médicos, por ejemplo, o, de, o una conferencia de, qué sé yo, de ginecólogo. Muchas cosas yo no las entendería, pero una buena parte sí, o la base del lenguaje sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que sucede y es lo que usted debe de tener calma. Tiene que tener sí. calma al momento de que estamos hablando y eh, o que, está, que estoy eh, exponiendo la clase, porque vamos estructura por estructura. A este momento le voy a enseñar en el manual, no sé si ya le enseñé eso en el manual a usted, Aquí en el manual tenemos una, un mapita en la página 6. En la página 6. Ahí usted va a encontrar un mapa y va a ver lo que necesita haber aprendido. Media vez, usted lo aprendió cuando usted escuche esas frases en medio de todo lo que se diga, usted sí va a saber lo que están diciendo. Ok, ya vamos a ver. En la página 6 tenemos un mapita. Mire, aquí tenemos el nombre de la unidad, lo que usted va a desarrollar, ok, o las, las competencias que usted va a adquirir y el vocabulario que debe aprender. Ok, si usted aprende esto, ya la hice. Ok. Ah, voy a intentar, lo voy a hacer, teacher. Ajá. Eh, ¿Usted aprende esto? Ya estuvo que usted supo que venía en la unidad 1 y después, como ya lo memoricé, ya lo usé, ya lo practiqué en clase y en tareas y en el manual, hice ejercicios. Luego en la plataforma utilicé los mismos vocabularios. Entonces quiere decir que cuando yo lo escuche, yo lo voy a identificar. ¿Ok? Sí. Yo lo voy a identificar. Sí. So, ahora. Mire la unidad 2. Bueno, veamos el vocabulario de la unidad 1 para que usted quede un poco más tranquila, ¿ok? Porque dice, mire, Monday Activities. Eso sería como un eh, tema, ¿verdad? O un vocabulario. Por ejemplo, puede ser Friday Activities, ¿verdad? Porque ya sabemos todos los días de la semana. Entonces podríamos decir Sunday Activities. Probablemente de Sunday no son las del trabajo, ¿verdad? Sino que van a ser de descanso, ¿verdad? Cosas de ir a jugar o qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Ir a nadar, a pasear, lo que sea. Entonces, esas las vimos también que se llamaban leisure activities, ¿verdad? Se llamaban leisure activities. Entonces, si usted mira acá todo el vocabulario que debe aprender, poco a poco, poco a poco, su listening va a ir identificando lo que ya yo he practicado, ¿ok? Así que por el momento yo creo que tiene que irse auxiliando de todas lo, las herramientas que tenemos. Tenemos el manual, tenemos la plataforma, tenemos el chat también donde usted puede estar preguntando, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos también la discusión en la plataforma, aparte de las tareas y los exámenes. Aparte, sí. tenemos los videos. Uh -huh. Sí, y creo que sería como conveniente, bueno... Eh, acá ya tengo, bueno, computadora impresora y quería tal vez sacar como, no sé, eh, como verbos, eh, al menos tratar la manera de aprenderme unos cinco verdes en presente, pasado, futuro, eh, para ir más o menos como, como aumentando mi, mi, mi diccionario, por decirle, porque... Tu vocabulario, ok. Esto, ajá, porque igual, porque eh, las palabras, el problema es que me puedo algunas palabras, pero hay otras palabras que no me las puedo y yo quisiera como formar la oración, pero no sé qué significa ni cómo se dice, entonces ahí okay. es donde yo me, me quiebro. Sí, claro que puede hacer eso de buscar los verbos. Ahora, mm -hmm. mi punto de vista y mi mejor consejo es que si usted va a agarrar, eh, empezar por las acciones que estamos aquí en Activities, Sí. Eh, que busque verbos que usted, de acciones que usted utiliza constantemente para que se memoricen. Así okay. descartamos seguir investigando eso y ponemos otras más, ¿verdad? Exacto. Entonces empezar por las cosas que yo hago a diario, por ejemplo. Las cosas que yo sé que si la aprendí hoy, mañana va a ser la misma y la voy a volver a practicar y la voy a volver a decir, etc. La voy a identificar mejor. Y la otra... 
el otro consejo es que cuando usted haya identificado ese verbo, de una vez, úselo en una oración. ¿Ok? No tenga miedo, usted úselo en la oración. ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo es una oración? A ah, una oración lleva un sujeto, un verbo y un predicado. Es lo mismo en inglés. It's the same. It takes a subject, a verb, and a complement. ¿Verdad? Y por yes. el momento solo vamos en el tiempo presente. Luego vamos al, en este momento vamos al presente continuo. ¿Verdad? Entonces lo bueno es que usted identifique en presente porque es lo que estamos haciendo en la clase, ¿Verdad? Ok. Y que identifique el presente continuo. Continuo. Cuando lleguemos al pasado, entonces usted empieza con el pasado, ¿Verdad? A uh -huh. ver el pasado, el pasado y a memorizar. Por el momento, lo primero es el presente simple, luego el presente el continuo. continuo. Exacto. Sí. Así es. Entonces okay, así, sí, sí. y de ahí el vocabulario que nosotros le damos. Es para que usted practique esas estructuras. Y al momento sí. del listening, se le va a hacer mucho más fácil. Uh -huh. Y yo le quería decir, vale, por ejemplo, si usted está leyendo, usted no tenga miedo. Ahí dice así, así dígalo. Oye, no se detenga y no diga, ay, es que no sé cómo se pronuncia. No, no, no. Nadie sabe cómo se pronuncia en la clase. Todos sus compañeros están aprendiendo igual que usted. Entonces usted dígala, dígala. Y dígala y dígala y luego pues le corregimos y le decimos se dice así, ¿verdad? Pero ya es una manera en que ya su cerebro lo destrabó, ¿verdad? Y okay. le va a ayudar muchísimo. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Ah, eso era el vocabulario, mire. Luego en el manual tenemos otras actividades que usted puede ir haciendo. Al final de cada página... Si usted se fija, por ejemplo, en la primera página, yo tengo acá, permítame. Mire, ah, espérame, no llega. Ya va a llegar. Ok. Por ejemplo, acá abajo, mire, dice, listen to a woman give useful email. Oh, hello. Alejandra, are you there? Yes, okay, there you are. Okay, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos, mire Alejandra, un ejercicio de listening. Este yo se los mandé en el WhatsApp, okay? Pero es bueno, es bueno que cuando terminamos la clase, por ejemplo, y usted mira que hay un ejercicio de listening, vaya y lo busque, okay? Por lo menos para que tenga una idea y empiece a identificar identificar las estructuras que estamos usando, ¿verdad? Ok, dicho. Ok. Ok. Ok, then. <risa> ¿Hay alguna Gracias, cosa que, más que el, en que le pueda ayudar? Eh, bueno, no, creo que eso es como lo más difícil y creo que es lo primordial porque okay. ya como aprendiendo eso, creo que voy a pues entender mucho más las clases. Así y es. Todo lo, que, todo lo que se dice. Sí, usted no tenga miedo, usted pregúntele a los teachers, para eso estamos, ¿ok? Nosotros con gusto le vamos a ayudar porque lo que queremos, el objetivo es que usted aprenda. Aprenda. ¿verdad? Sí, así es. Ajá. Sí, bueno, gracias. pues, entonces, Alejandra, let's meet us tomorrow and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Gracias. Bye, bye. My pleasure.